show. You guys, you guys know it ends when you can see the far end of the arrow, right? Use backup timer. Go. I was in a pretty good place mentally, but physically I was beat down. Out here, my body's just breaking down and it's not having that chance to recover. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? Why climb the highest mountain? Why fly the Atlantic? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. As you place the ring, you look her in the eyes and tell her, I take you. I take you. In good times and bad. Every night, I FaceTime Emily. We had one of those good, wholesome conversations last night, and I just remember, like, feeling so good when I went to sleep. Just another sunny day. We had one of those conversations that's just like, you laugh all the time, you have your inside jokes, and it was just took that physical burden off my chest, and then just mentally, I was, I was that much better. At the end of 2018, I, I'm actually here in Vermont. I race Killington. I come in through the finish line and they're handing out the elite awards. Third place was Emily Smith and I was like, dang, that girl's pretty, she's pretty cute. I was like, hmm, I'm gonna have to look her up on Instagram. I replied to her story, she replied, actually no, she replied to my story first, December 10th, 2018. I got it on my phone, I'll never forget. She replied back to one of my stories and then that was kind of history. We talked ever since. It was kind of like, that was it. Day two, uh, kicking off with DECA, and then we brought the mountain bike in the afternoon. Morning. Here we are, DECA, and this is the kind of stuff that I do in my garage. Behind the hip, come back up. That'll be two reps. You keep all playing three. My neck's a little bit sore from probably the swim yesterday, but this is my jam, so I'm pretty excited for DECA. And pretty much everything that you see out here, all these pieces of equipment and everything that you see is, is in my house, in my gym, so I got a skier, I got a rower, a farmer's carries, we got it all. I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm gonna do pretty good. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up, turn around, pick it up. That's five. Good job, man. How was it? So I was going harder than I normally do. I was pushing upward towards 100% in the, the last couple of rounds. Yeah. So it was pretty tough. Start laying down there, obviously. You're going to come down. You're going to take this left turn. Note the surface. What's the surface? So we're about to go on a five hour bike ride. So in five hours, as many laps as possible. Each lap is approximately nine miles, and the minimum amount to accomplish is two. So you're looking at at least 18 to 20 miles. I go out and we usually stroll every once in a while. So we got some good rolling hills by the house. You know. My wife, she always gets nice, like, slow down, you're gonna hit a tree. There I don't care go. here, I'm gonna go for it. I think to myself, like, I'm just gonna get through two and then I'm good because I wanna save my legs for the next day. I'm like ripping through the berms, I'm ripping the downhills and I'm just flying. And it's an amazing trail, it's beautiful out here, the leaves are changing, like, and I get down to the finish line, I'm like, hell yeah, like, I was super stoked. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do one more lap. So I managed to get three laps in and I was super happy about it. I'm shot. My quads are just toast. So glad that I went back up and pushed through it and got three. And I don't want to ever look back and think, I just did two, but I probably could have gotten three. All right, let's go over tomorrow. We got two events. First off, Spartan Wrestling. And then in the afternoon, so starting at noon, we're going to have the Ultra, the run. I don't have a huge wrestling background, but we go through like a combatives program, which is like super basic. And I think a lot of people were actually pretty nervous or scared about wrestling because some of these people like they live for fitness and they get paid to do this so if they get hurt on a wrestling event like that's that's a game changer so but there's a lot of questions a lot of like what ifs and a lot of like hey is this safe i'm super sore so let's see what happens A 
lot of people definitely came out of the works and surprised me. It's, it's next level for sure. You know, COVID-19 coming in and taking out pretty much every single event 2020. I think Emily and I made it to one event. Before we got married, obviously, Emily and I became like really good friends. Like we became pretty close really fast. And sometimes we just get home, it's like, you're the only person I wanna, wanna hang out with. Good day, bad day, it doesn't really matter. To be able to train with that, that same person and to have that person beat you. 2019, I had some foot issues and she would just smoke me. And I was like, that's motivation because I want to be better than her. And then this year I finally waxed her, but. All right, you guys know what's tomorrow? All right, we're gonna start the day off with the king, queen of the mountain. Then we're gonna go to a, a, a modified deck event. And we're gonna end with a uh, Spartan cross. I feel pretty beat. I'm not gonna lie, we got a heavy DECA tomorrow, meaning all the weights are heavier. It's gonna be interesting to see how far people get. I'm gonna try to push as hard as I can, see how far I can get through the obstacles, but uh, the way I feel right now and the way my grip feels and my forearms feel, we'll see. <laughs>